What's going on? Yeah, I know I said I was going to take a day off on Mother's Day, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of herping with my brother Connor. He's over there. Cody's right here. Hey! Yeah. What's up? It's been a while I'm sure since... you guys have seen me sometime. Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, it, has, it has been a while. But just look at his view. It's crazy. It's my home. Yep. That's my house. Yep. I used to live in that thing. <laughs> a lot of memories. But we're going to go and uh, cruise some roads and flip some uh, shale for some ringnecks and worm snakes. So hopefully we'll find some good stuff. So I have brought my brother Connor out here to the spot where me and Bo did the live stream. If you guys were there for that. And I'm going to show you the spot where we found the ringneck. And just look how much that water is up right over there. That's ridiculous. And uh, see if this ringneck's actually even still in this area. No, he was under this one, so maybe. Check this one. Be careful, because he was a little hidden under there. No. All right, I'm going to check this one. Yep. Little ringneck, grab him. Little ringneck. Same one as last time. There you go. <laughs> Two seconds out here. I already got a freaking ringneck. Well, hold them both hands. <laughs> Look at him. He's so squirmy. I know. Scraggle, that's, that's, I guarantee that's the same one that we found yesterday. Does he have little bumps on him? That's one of hopefully many. It's Connor's first snake of the year. <laughs> is that your li Pretty spastic. Is that your life for a ring neck? Have you ever found a ring neck before? No. No? That's the first one. <laughs> Connor has life for a ring neck. That's awesome. Oh, he's in. He's got something messed up with the side of his face. I don't know if you guys can see that. His eye. So he's something's wrong with him. Oh, poor little dude. He's calmed down now. Oh, now he's calmed down just a little bit. I know. Now you can call back and see what's wrong with his. Yeah, I know. Oh wow. He's got something going on with it. I don't know what, but it kind of looks something like he's ain't right. Kind of shit and not. Didn't finish. Maybe he didn't get an eye cap off. That's what it looks like. And got infected. Oh, it's okay, buddy. There, you want to let him go? Just let him loose under. There you go. There we go. Yeah, let him go back where he was. Yeah, no. Heck yeah. And I just flipped this beautiful little eastern worm snake. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a good size one. Really healthy looking. They're all, all these fossorial snakes like this are going to be scraggly. But look, they got that little shovel nose head. Yeah, you got to kind of grip them a little bit because he's adorable. Two snakes in two takes. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. First time you've seen an eastern worm snake? Yep. Yep. <laughs> First time for everything. Oh, yeah. He likes to embed himself in between my fingers. Oh, yeah. They're. Well, come on now. They're burrowing species, so that's what they. Uh... Look at that color, though. Like. He is so healthy looking. Ooh. Absolutely. Almost dropped yeah, him. Yeah, I know. That's why I had a hold of this thing. so slippery. He's been in there. Look at that. <laughs> he does not like to be. No, he wants to go back to being hiding. He must have just shed because he is slick. Really pretty looking. Goodness. Well, we will hop back over here and let this guy go. Under his rock, which was right over here. Right over here. Oh wait, no, it was it was that one right there. The bigger one. <laughs> what did I tell you we find out here? Ringnecks and eastern worm snakes. That was quick. All right, we were at pull-off spot number two. Walk along this whole thing. So, pretty much we're just flipping shale, any little flat rocks that we see, and uh, checking up in these crevices like up in here. This is perfect. Yeah, it kind of goes a little deep right there. Check under that second rock. 
Sometimes they'll hide under that second rock. This is beautiful habitat though. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, we'll get back to you guys if we, uh, once we get something. I know we will. Alright, well there's nothing at spot number two, so we're going to move on down here to a third spot. We're just going to keep on trying until we get some. Alright. It's not that blind of a spot. Yeah, it's not that bad. We are at spot number three. After 12 hours. After 12 hours. I'm not at all wearing my boots, so my feet are hurting pretty bad. Nothing under there. But we got a lot of good spots to to flip some stuff. Now that we know that these snakes are out and about, then we should be able to hone in. Hone in on them pretty easily. We're pretty much just gonna be walking this whole entire <coughs> stretch of road. And then yeah, it is a lot cooler up here. We're up here in the elevation, so and then we're just gonna flip. There's a hole for something. Flipping any little rocks that we see that look good. Oh, that'd be a nice spot for a timber to be chilling. And then, see, it's got all sorts of little rocks, like right here. I mean, it's got flatter rocks on down here. But. Uh, nope. Looking for shale on these. That's what I'm looking for. Well, we didn't find anything along this stretch, but it's we're at a higher elevation than we were before, right? Oh yeah. So maybe we should try going back down to that elevation. Because maybe they're not. The walk is definitely not worth it. Huh? The walk is definitely not worth it. No, definitely not. But it's still, I mean, it kind of is because it's pretty remote, nice little area. Enough city noises. You gotta love that. Well, guys, we tried, but the uh, the rain <laughs> kind of got to us <laughs> right as soon as we pulled up to spot four. But I mean, you got your lifer, ring neck, and eastern worm snake oh, yeah. out the gate. So that doesn't happen. <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, so yeah. Anyway, happy Mother's Day, guys. I know this video is up way past uh, Mother's Day. I think it's Thursday the following week when this video is going up so yeah but anyway I hope you guys had a happy Mother's Day I know I did it was good and happy Mother's Day all the mothers that are out there again it's belated I know but it is what it is and I reckon I will see you guys uh, tomorrow hopefully I have the GoPro footage up and running and figured out and everything I'll be able to show you guys that video but either way it's gonna be a good video so stick around for it Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Are you camera shy? Are you camera shy? Are you camera shy?